Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful and festive Christmas slanted shell throw blanket. This blanket measures approximately 46 inches wide by 54 inches long and is made up using three different colors in the traditional Christmas colors. Now you can always change this up to fit your needs or to fit your different personality. You can use one color, you can use two colors, or you can use a variety of colors. You can also customize this to make this any size blanket that you would like. So the blanket is very nice and durable. It's very soft and it can be easily customizable as I mentioned. So let's get started on making the Christmas slanted shell blanket. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need three skeins of each of these three colors. And the yarn that I'm using today is called the Premier Basics. It is a number four worsted weight yarn. It's 359 yards, 328 meters, seven ounces, 200 grams, and it is 100% acrylic. It has been tested and approved against over 350 harmful substances and it is machine wash, warm, tumble, dry. The recommended hook size is a USI 9 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're gonna need three skeins of red. You're gonna need three skeins of holly, which is this really pretty green color. And finally, three skeins of white. I'm also using a size J 6 millimeter crochet hook. Now I am going to be bumping up my crochet hook one just because I want my blanket to be a little bit more airy and because of the stitch that I'm using. So I'm using a J 10 6 millimeter crochet hook. Let's begin the pattern. So for today's pattern, you're going to need to make a chain of 142. I'm using the slanted shell stitch, which is one of my favorites. So you're gonna need, for the blanket, you're gonna need 142 chains. Now if you wanna make this blanket wider or smaller, you will just go ahead and change up the sizing of the chain, which is gonna be a multiple of four plus two. So that means you're gonna chain four, chain four again, keep chaining four until you're desired width, and at the very end, you're gonna add two more chains to the end. So again, with my throw blanket, I made 142 chains. Today, I'm just gonna be doing a small sample size for you. So I'm gonna do a multiple of four times five, which is 20, plus two at the end for a total of 22 chains. So to make a chain, you're gonna do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. That's one two, three, four, five. Continue making your 142 chains or your multiple of four plus two. Okay, so once you have your 142 chains or your multiple of four plus two, we can begin row one. For row one, we're gonna make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. You're gonna count two chains from your hook. So one and two. And in that second chain from hook, you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is your single crochet. We're gonna make one single crochet in each of the chains across. So in that very next chain, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'll show you one more time. Find that next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Continue making one single crochet in each of the chains across and I will show you how to move on to row two. So now we're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, and three, and we're gonna turn our work. 
in that very first single crochet made, we're going to go ahead and make four double crochets. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that very first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first double crochet. We're going to make three more double crochet into that same stitch. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that very first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two double crochets made. Three double crochets. and four double crochets. So you're going to have a chain three and in that very first single crochet, four double crochets. Next you're going to skip three single crochets and in the next single crochet you're going to single crochet, chain two, four double crochet. So skip the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and in the stitch after that make a single crochet, chain two, one, and two, and in that same stitch make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So you're going to repeat this across until you get to the last single crochet. So again, you're going to skip three stitches, one, two, and three, and in the stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochet, all into that same stitch. One, two, three, and four. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, and three. In the stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochet, all into that same stitch. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and stitch, stitch after that, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochet, all into that same stitch. So this is what your row is going to start to look like. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have four stitches remaining. You're going to skip three stitches, one, two, and three. And in that very last stitch, you're going to go ahead and make a single crochet only. Now because these are a shell stitch, your shell stitches are going to offset one another. So when I do the next row, I'll show you what that means. But basically, you're going to have one shell here, one shell here, and so on. So row three is going to be our repeat row. So for row three, we're going to start with a chain three and turn. And in that very first single crochet, we're going to make four double crochets. So 
So in that stitch right here, go ahead and make four double crochets. Three double crochets and four. You're going to skip the next four double crochets and you're going to make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochets, all inside the chain two space. So you're going to skip this shell right here with the four double crochets. You're going to find that chain two, which is going to be right here, and it helps if you can pull your work apart a little bit. And you're going to go right into that chain two space, and you're going to make your single crochet, chain two, four double crochet all inside that chain two space. And then with the offsetting shells, so you have your first shell here and then you have your second shell here. So when you make more rows, you're going to have one, two, three, four shells offsetting one, one another. Okay, so for row three, you're just going to repeat that across. You're going to skip the four double crochets that's part of that shell. You're going to find that chain two, and you're going to go underneath that chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochet all inside that chain two space. Okay, so repeat that across your row until you get to the very end and I will show you how to end row three. I'm over at the end of row three and I have one shell stitch remaining. So I'm going to find that beginning chain three space and I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to go ahead and make a single crochet. And that is the end of row three. So again, you're gonna have your shell stitches offsetting one another, just like so. So for my pattern, I started off with five rows of the red color. So you're going to have four rows of those double crochet slanted shells and then the first row of that single crochet. And then after that, you're going to be changing colors every four rows. So I'm just going to stop right here and show you how to change colors. So I'm actually going to take out my single crochet and leave it like that. So if I were to end my single crochet, I would yarn over with the red and finish the stitch. Now when changing colors, you're going to cut your yarn and leave a little bit of a tail, probably about this length to weave in later. You're going to grab your new color, which is going to be the green in this case. Again, leave a little bit of a tail, yarn over your hook, and pull through with that new color. And then what I like to do is I like to get the ends of my yarn and tighten them. And then you're going to continue with the pattern. So chain three, turn your work. And in that very first single crochet, you're going to make four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. You're going to skip over those four double crochets. That's part of that shell. You're going to find your chain two, insert your hook under that chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, four double crochet, all inside that chain two space. One double crochet, two, three, and four. 
and then that's what those two colors look like again with the offsetting shell stitch so you're going to repeat row three over and over again for the pattern again you're going to be changing colors every four rows except for the very first and very last rows of your blanket so the very first row is going to be a single crochet and then you're going to have four rows of the shell and then you're going to change color to the green you're going to have four rows of the green change colors after that and you're going to change to white four rows of the white and then repeat back to the red so red green white red green white four rows for each color and you're going to go ahead and have a total of 88 rows and you're going to have 89 if you are counting the single crochet row from the beginning but you're going to have a total of 88 rows with the slanted shell stitch so once you have your 88 rows i will show you how to even the top of your blanket because for right now this is what the top of your blanket's going to look like so I will show you how to even out the top of your blanket so that way it's nice and straight just like the bottom so complete your 88 rows of your shell stitch changing colors every four rows and I will show you how to even out the top of your blanket okay so I'm over at the end of my row so say you want to end your blanket the second to last row you're going to go ahead and chain one and turn and this is going to be after your final four rows of the red color for the blanket so chain one and turn and then you're going to make a single crochet into that very first stitch so go ahead and make your single crochet now working in the double crochet stitches only you're going to make a single crochet so you're going to have four double crochets and then your chain two you're going to skip your chain two as well as that single crochet so make one single crochet in each of the four double crochets you're going to skip that chain two and the single crochet and you're going to immediately start working in the next stitch which is the double crochet And again work one double crochet in four double crochet stitches skip that chain two and the single crochet in the next stitch which is that double crochet make a single crochet so you should be having four single crochets skipping the chain two and the single crochet and then four single crochets after that in the double crochets and that's going to help even out the top of your blanket Okay, so when you come to the end of your blanket you're going to have the four single crochets in the top of the double crochet stitches and then you're also going to have your chain so in the top of that chain you're going to make your final single crochet so for the final row you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to make one single crochet into that very first stitch and in each stitch across so when you're working your blanket you're going to have the four rows of the red shell stitch you're going to have the final two rows be single crochets so your very first red section of your blanket is going to have a total of five rows it's going to have the single crochet row plus four rows of the shell stitch and then for the final red section of your blanket you're going to have four rows of the shell stitch and then you're going to have two rows with the single crochet stitch now i did not add a border to this blanket however you can always add whatever blanket you wish the possibilities are really up to you 
So continue making your single crochets all the way across to the end of your blanket. And then when you get to the end of your blanket, you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a tail, and then weave in your ends. Now I understand some people do not like weaving in their ends, so I highly recommend after each few rows or so to weave in your ends. And to wait, the way to weave in your ends is you're going to keep the same color and you're going to weave in your tail in between the stitches. So for this green, you're going to get your green tail and go in between the stitches. Three times is what I like to do. So I go one way, I go back another way, and then I go back one more way just to make sure it's really secure. You can weave in your ends however you wish, just make sure to keep the same colors together to hide those ends a little bit more. And then as you can see, we have completely evened out the top of our blanket, so now it's going to match the bottom where it's nice and straight. So let me get my crochet throw blanket back so you can see the entire blanket and you can be on your way with your own blanket. Okay, so here's what my blanket looks like. Again, it's really hard to get the entire throw blanket in the viewfinder of my camera, but this just gives you an idea of what the blanket looks like overall. And again, I change colors every four rows using red, green, and white, and then repeating that for the entire pattern. And then as you can see, the different texture from that shell stitch. I really like the slanted shell stitch, but the regular shell stitch itself is very beautiful as well. I really like textured stitches and the different types of the shell stitches are probably one of my favorites of the textured stitches. So here we have the bottom where we started out with that single crochet and then you have the four rows of the red, four rows of the green, four rows of the white, and back to the red. Again, this is a very nice cozy blanket. I really like using the Premier Yarns. The Basic Collection has a ton of different colors to choose from and I have not been disappointed with their yarns at all because they're super soft and super durable and I really like using their yarns a lot in my projects. So thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make the Christmas Slanted Shell Throw Blanket. I hope you enjoy today's tutorial and give this throw blanket a try, especially for the festive holiday season coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!